sure all those graduating today are probably more than all those that have ever graduated in this university. This is Corsair. and of course on the 11th day of February 2023 
and the global community can spread the belief of the belief in voice in existence. And therefore, it threats my challenge to Nigerian universities in general and federal universities in particular to reassess themselves in the light of the national and global expectations. Nigeria, since independence in 1960, has been trying to make the big leap from developing to a developed nation. And this has limited us for a number of reasons, mostly within our country. While the administration has done its best within the limits of, limits of concerning resources to better position the country and the community of nations, I all every single Nigeria to continue to make their contribution in resolving our socio-economic and political challenges. For where it stands in a good state to provide workable solutions to these challenges, I am very much aware that there are some peculiar challenges preventing universities in the country from competing favorably with others in the global community, with funding always started at the most. Indeed, the incidents in industrial action, academic staff in on university action, and the online unions in the university system officials to build on the successes recorded by my administration to take the country further on this journey. I will not fail to use this opportunity to thank all Nigerians for their support in the course of my administration. We did face many twists and turns, but your support helped us in navigating them successfully for the benefit of the greater majority of Nigerian people. In closing, let me acknowledge the increasing visibility of who you given the track record of some of your leading scholars across disciplines, both at home and abroad. I encourage the university to engage in more continuity researches to ensure the positive transformation of the country. I also suggest the university to work on its town and ground relations for its sustainable development. As Senior mentioned, your graduation is just a phase in your journeys of life. It is a door to another level which requires greater hard work, discipline, commitment, and dedication. In this new phase, you will be met with greater challenges of life. However, greater opportunities to come. However, greater opportunities to become national and global personalities also present themselves. I encourage you to employ the academic and moral discipline still in you by the institution to overcome all challenges and maximize all opportunities. Remember that you are ambassadors of this great Saturday of learning and your future conduct will have telling effects on the fortunes of your institution. You should be good ambassadors. Beyond the ambassadorial duty, I challenge you to become problem solvers and not problem managers. The essence of university education is not just about self development, but also to equip you to be able to contribute your quota to national development. Shun the easy but criminal way to work. Remember that the short course will always cut you short. As you move to the next phase of your life, I wish you all the best. Once again, I congratulate the graduates and numerous wishers for having every reason to celebrate and be celebrated. Thank you for your attention. Lovely to the University of the Unity, lovely to the States, and lovely Federal Republic of Nigeria. Thank you. The honor protocol in the establishment. On behalf of my friends and brothers, Ms. Onosaya, Chairman for the government, am I humble, sir, to appreciate the university? I know that to confirm honorary degree of the university on any person, the Senate and Council will have been we must have reached a consensus, as I 
agree that that person is a fit and proper one to carry the honor, the bar, the leader of the old university and now of our university. Myself from the university of 
Thank you. And also thank you on behalf of this thing. Thank you on behalf of Kevin. We are talking of philanthropy. We brought nothing to this world. And let us listen very carefully. This one is not fishing and has been done in a few minutes' time. And that is a lesson. When Queen Elizabeth II was there, I was somewhere in Abuja, in my hotel room. I was grieved at the right television. But those of us who saw the mistakes here and there, because I am a child of Christ. Some of us, I'm not in my profession, they believe that what they do not know does not exist. And that's why the word of God says in the book of Hosea 4 6 that my people perish for lack of knowledge. All they do, all some of us do, and very brilliant set of people who celebrate, is to be criticizing for the sake of criticizing. You don't do that. On the 19th of last month, God used us, and He used Himself to donate a cut. Congress to get it. And the one who are chanting, the one who are writing, saying that, oh, why could you do that? Give me a photo that you have even donated the library. If I donated the library, where would the library be? Which people will house the library? One of the happiest days in my life was sometimes in the second week of November last year. I was a foreign actor in Abuja, and one lawyer came, greeted me. He said, Sir, do you know me? I said, I don't know you. He said, I'm a beneficiary of your scholarship. And then, I was saying, the tears of God, and also of our position to God. Assuming that lawyer becomes a doctor, and I pray he does, and I appear before him. To inflict him, please let there be a limit to some of these things. They let us discourage ourselves. And to those of us who are lawyers here, I give you some assignment. Go and ask. I'm going to Google. Go and do research. The international court, the criminal court in Haiti. The building of Sensei Church is one guaranteed student today. I feel greatly honored to stand before you with nothing to hover but this short speech of jubilation. We are celebrating that we are finally fully satisfied in our respective fields of study. Going to use our innovative ideas and character for national transformation as recognized by our university motto. Ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of my fellow graduating colleagues, I want to let you know that over the four to five years we have been here, we have covered and learned a lot concerning studies and the skills needed to be the best in our feet. This is a clear indication that we are now going out to the countryside, not as teachers or quacks, but as professionals in our business. This has been possible because of our leaders today, but still, this will have been nothing without the hard work spirit and the patience of our lecturers who sacrifice their precious time, helping us even as all us. These lecturers deserve the hand from us. This class of them. <laughs> Secondly, allow me to specially thank the Vice Chancellor of Professor Rabbi Mufasana for being a wonderful father to all of us and giving us a, a very good and serene environment.